crazy. It was crazy. I was, bro, I was having fun watching, bro. I'm not going to lie to you. That's why sometimes I sit to... back. Bro, some, I'm one of those people that actually pull up, like it, and I won't even comment for like two, three hours. I just be watching it, sitting in the work car, like, yo, this nigga BX is literally funny as hell. Like, bro, appreciate I ain't the hell out of that. Bro, that's so imagine, so imagine all the people that don't comment that just really enjoy the content that's really here supporting, but they're not really even saying anything, bro. That's the real that's ones plethora, that's like, bro, because sometimes people got to sit back. They might be working, they might be eating, and this might be something that they actually got in the air, chilling. Right. Just going out throughout the day, especially they the probably times smiling that right now. Day. Exactly. They probably smiling, thinking about it. Like, I wish I can fucking tie it right now. Shoot, think bro, about it. Yeah, the lurkers. Yep. I'm here to, to to help those people, to help everyone, right? To ease throughout their day. Right. Like, especially with the timing that I'll be streaming. Sometimes it'd be like three in the morning. And I'm like, I feel like streaming. And I'll just right. cut the stream on and stream till like six in the morning and then come back like a few hours later. I feel like I, I really enjoy it. I'll be looking at that shit like I got three hours. Uh, probably gotta get up for work. I still be watching that shit. Well, I'm yo, home, when I seen you comment the other night, I was like, yo, Chair Rock's still up? Look at that. Because you fell asleep already. It was no, mad late, was, like five in the morning. I'm like, oh, damn. No, nah, bro. Y'all was still I, in here watching, If it's something man, that I'm interested it. about, bro, if it's something we're interested about, we're in here, bro. That's the thing. We're not going to always have the time to hop in and say that we do. Sure, no, I appreciate that. I That's appreciate the one that thing, yeah. Like, I'll be wanting to say like, yo, what's up? But then I'm like, yo, everybody gonna expect me to busy. respond back. Yeah. Right. Yo, Some shit might happen. all the time. Something might I definitely happen. understand that. There's times like, when like I'll be fucking like watching someone stream and then I gotta do something and I'll pause it and then go somewhere and I'll come back and play and they're like, hey Beast Boy, you wanna come up? I'm like, oh damn. <laughs> yeah, like, missed it, this shit. <laughs> missed it. I would have definitely came up, man. I had to go run and go get a package or something real quick. So, like, <laughs> yeah, that does happen all the time. Or, like, when people are in the chat saying hello to you and you want to say hello to everybody yeah, one by one, yeah. but it's like, damn, I'm missing it because I'm doing stuff. Yeah. So, it does become like that. But I appreciate those people. Like, I even consider them replay game, man. If you could go back into the comments and say what's up, man. Say hello, you know, yeah. I'm gonna check that joint. Right? Like, this is, YouTube is, is fascinating to me, right? Just the entertainment world in general is fascinating to me. Like, if you would have told me when I was young that I would be doing this, I probably wouldn't believe you because I, I wanted to be in entertainment, but I wanted to be more, how would you say, the, the front line, right? What we do is we're in the media field, so we're in the back line. Like, we're in the back. I wanted to be in the front, of course, right? Like, People that want to be rappers or actors or things like that, you'd never expect that you would be able to, you know, just have fun and be yourself while talking about the actors and the rappers or reacting to them. Right. And I think yeah. that that's like extremely fascinating, man. Like, because it shows that certain people have a, a skill in analytics and as far as analyzing things and, and reviewing or even reacting. And shoot, back in the day, would you have even known that you had that skill if you was like born in the fifties or sixties or some shit? It'd have been way harder for you to develop that, right? Right. Yep. Then shit, if you didn't achieve whatever your goal was or something related to your goal, because I'm sure you had love for music, if you didn't achieve that, then you probably would have been a little bit more depressed. Had to you know, do your job, which is no shame in that working nine to five. But then something in the back of your head would have been like something's missing. Yeah. Your whole life. My whole life. Damn. So that now we, we got things like this to where we could be in the media game and come in here and just give our opinions, whether it's doing reactions, reviews, live streams. Damn, that shit is a blessing. It's like, it's astonishing to me. Yeah, it is definitely a blessing, man. Because a lot of people that want to do it, they're just saying they're going to do it. They don't really get to, like, even get a taste of it at all. Exactly. So, it's like we blessing, look at yeah. no jumper, Joe Buttons, and academics and people, and we we like in that same realm. We are in that same realm, bro. Maybe talking about different subjects to some degree, but we are in the same field. Yep. As them, within a few years, there's gonna be people that talk about us the same way that they talk about the Joe Buttons or 
whoever. Maybe I can yeah, name some yeah. more people that my audience knows. Uh, the Steven Crowders, the Candace Owens. Yeah. It just takes time, you know? Like, it build over time. Like, build on trust. That's one uh, one number, number one we think we're going to stick on because trying to be somebody or not, I feel like it's not worth it, man. Right. We just be who we are and people will either gravitate to it or not. But I'd rather just keep it real. This is what it's called, man. Real talk. So that's all I would do on her. That's all you can do. All you should all do. You, all you should do. But you know now, people not like that. Hey, it was good. They don't want to keep it real. Yeah. Eventually, the more we work, we put in, the more you stay consistent, the more we can get to those levels. The thing about us and a lot of other content creators or people, like you said, in this realm, they not really giving advice. They're not really motivating people to do the things that we're doing. They want people right. to be sticking to the audience and stay as the supporters. They don't want them to grow and to be like, yo, start their own channel because maybe you might have something that they don't have. And now they're watching you like, damn, this channel is going nice and crazy all because I gave them advice on what to do or how to start. Well, I'm a firm believer in both, right? I think that everyone should go for it, whatever their goal is. But at the same time, sometimes you got to realize reality is real. You know what I mean? Like, in, in yeah. not fantasy. So, like, say if you want to be a rapper, right? And you've been rapping forever and you ain't do nothing that made any kind of noise then you, you should look around and maybe analyze things like, okay, maybe, maybe this ain't for me. Maybe I can use my love for rap in a different way, right? Mm -hmm. Like, I never blew up as a rapper, and I'm like a YouTuber full on now, the way now I'm changed my rap name and I'm doing music in a different way. But before that, I had a small fan base because I was just consistently doing music. That's right. just the way that works. So if you've been doing rap, and that's just one example, for years, and you don't have any fans, you might need to rethink this and like maybe come up with a different plan. Maybe something yeah, ain't right. working. Maybe you could be a writer. Maybe a producer. Maybe, maybe yeah, Some people are better ghostwriters than they are if they were the actual star. Yeah. And that's what they should stick to. But, you know, everybody want to taste of that that fame like you were saying like we all wanted to be one of them people that were on the forefront but sometimes you gotta be in the background till you, till your time come exactly exactly it all will pay off in the long run it's just that some people want it to happen overnight right they want that that easy bake that microwave yes it did go through Desiree and I appreciate the heck out of the support real talk Thank, Thank you. you. But yeah, they want that microwave. They want that yeah. easy bake. They want it right now type of stuff. They don't want to actually work hard and go through all the bumps and bruises. They don't realize that's what makes you like an uh, unmovable object, right? When you mm -hmm. go through the lanes of the hard work and getting the bumps and bruises, once you get to that point, it's like you build the staircase to where now you can't fall off. Right. Even if the main street don't rock with you, you still got your fans. You still got your supporters. You rocking. You still can keep doing what you're doing. But if you get everything easy baked, if it all comes from just someone else doing it for you or just some luck, a unicorn shit, that's how a lot of these channels end up big channels, but then they're dead channels. Yeah. You got a bunch of these subscribers, but then you put out a video and it's like no one watching it. Like look at any of these top 10 channels. Happens all the time. Man, top hey. fives, top tens. They, they put out videos with hundreds of views, but they in the millions of subs. How? How the hell? That's because people not rocking with them. They, it was probably a viral video or a moment that they had and they rode right. away for as long as they could. And then when it got to that point, they just abandoned the channel. Because they wasn't being them. They wasn't being real. They wasn't actually giving their audience themselves. You know what I mean? You got to give the audience yourself so people could know you. Right, if you riding waves on those bull crap, that's that's not gonna last long. Right, and within a reaction community, that shit is dangerous because 
Bro, that's like, why I don't try to ride every turn sometimes. Sometimes is you just got to keep doing what you're doing. That's best for you and your audience. It's dangerous. Yep. That's facts. Yeah, you got to do what's best for you and your audience. Because I've seen a lot of people. I'm telling you, I always use these two brothers that I think they're brothers. Twins, whatever they call them. The reaction channel. I use them as an example of how they blew up. They was on TV. Saturday Night Live was making fun of them in skits. Yo, millions of subs. If we was to look at their channel right now, Chill Rock, I swear, fam, it would make no sense. Damn, Damn. look at the uh, twins. I think it's twins. The new trend. They were fucking huge for music reaction channels. Look, oh man, they. I swore they was over a million. They at eight hundred now. Eight hundred million. No, oh, eight hundred thousand. Oh. I had to say, they're just they're losing. So they're losing. They was in the millions, right? If you look, yeah, this is horrible. They was on Saturday Night Live, all types of stuff. Look at the most viewed videos: ten million, damn, five million, two million, two point three, one point nine, one point six, one point five, one point four, right? Now, remember all those millions. They got a bunch of videos that hit millions. Let's look at their latest videos. Two hours ago, 400. Damn. Eight hours ago, 1,000. Let's scroll just so you get a little bit more estimate. Three months ago, 5,000. Where's his Three brother? 2,000. He comes and goes. I guess he just moved on. Once the channel stopped getting all the views it used to get, wow. he just comes and goes. I respect right, but him. You, as you can see, still going. He's still going, but look at the the viewership is is dropped tremendously, right? They're that way that boost. it's because they was following waves. They had a boost of being popular on TV, but then guess what? What else I've noticed here? This is someone that don't know how to be a YouTuber. Yeah. This nigga don't know how to make a thumbnail. He's, He's not making thumbnails. He just throwing shit up. YouTube is just picking whatever is the still frame, which is, hey, that's what you want to do. Cool. But do know that you're going to get less because you're putting in less effort. You could at bare minimum put up a picture of what you're looking at as a thumbnail. Like hey, They was used to that format that they were in. Was, was them doing nothing. They just blew up because they you know what else they, they blew up off of? What? I've never heard that before. They ever went live? Uh, I be feeling like people that don't go live, bro. They oh, I did. They went live. Okay. Not really sometimes frequently. They, sometimes when they don't go live, they don't really show they real, real dumb. I learned that, that out well. of my reaction channels. That is well. I can't front them going live is sus too as well. But there's a whole bunch of things. Like I just think that they didn't really blow up off of them. They blew up off of. The trend. A trend, right? A trend. Uh, older people being like, "I like watching these young kids react to songs that I love that bro. they've never heard of." But these niggas will be lying through their fucking teeth. I know, bro. That's why I don't lie. Some songs I definitely heard, and I don't want to react to it because I feel like it's not going to be a genuine reaction. I'll react, but I'll just I won't like fucking present it as in this is my first time here. Like I can't do a reaction to Bohemian Rhapsody and go. First reaction, because no, nigga, I, that's nah. Queen. I love that fucking song. Vanilla Ice. You tell me they never heard Ice Ice Baby? Nope. The fuck out of here. <laughs> they never for heard one, Bohemian Rhapsody? Get the fuck out of here. For one, for a million views, they'll say they wouldn't. They didn't. They never heard they Adele don't. rolling in the deep? Get the fuck. These niggas was lying. They never heard Coolio, Gangsta's Paradise? These Damn. niggas is liars. They was cheating. They cheated to get the all the their viewership, and then people don't fall for it no more. Yeah, they probably don't even like interact. Nigga, nobody. first time hearing MC Hammer, you can't touch. True Seeker, welcome to Fan Gang. This is for new. He's new here. Hey, how you doing? Uh, okay. I've never heard. That's different. I think these guys are older than you, probably. 
Facts, that's the right. That's why I said I stopped paying first time hearing on every single thing. Cause and you've heard that. You you definitely heard Ice Ice Baby. You just don't know it by name. Yeah, that's it. That's a famous ass song. Dun, dun, a, dun, 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 like, dun, ice bum, bum, Ice bum, Baby. No, nah, they don't say it like that. They, he's like the whisper <laughs> that shit. Ice, ice baby, so cold, so cold. I said, stop, collaborate and listen. That used to be my shit back in the day. Nigga, Vanilla Ice did the Ninja Turtle uh, theme song for part two. Go Ninja, did, go right. Ninja, go, go yeah, Ninja, did, go Ninja. Right. Look at this Fuji's. You never heard "Killing Me Softly" by the Fuji's. These niggas is lying. You never heard Outcast. Hey y'all. Hey, Come on, bro. Hey, yeah, they didn't hear it, bro. They never heard Alicia Keys <laughs> falling. Come <laughs> on, that's not even old. Yeah, Chanel kind of nothing compares to you. That's crazy. You never heard. I that. wonder how. They, I, can, I wonder. Like that. Well, how, how long ago was that? Which one? Like two years ago, like them Jones. Two years. Come on, bro. Two years. Two years ago. All of these. They. they never heard of Alicia Keys falling. That's why I'm years saying. Ago. How they get that shit cleared? What do you mean? They got that clear their reaction. What do you mean clear? Doesn't like to be able to have it posted without it getting blocked. You can do that. You don't know how to do that? Nah. I got you. I got you. After the stream, I'm gonna send you something. All right. I got you. You got um. You never like when you get striked. You never fight that shit. I fought it uh one time, but they said there's nothing they could do. Nah, I, I got you. I got you. I'll show you how to do that shit. Definitely. So only, um, there's only, only a thing few people I've lost only against. Thing, Every other one, they let you rock. Only thing that's on my channel now is the warning from the uh, Squid Game video I did of uh, Mr. Beast. You might be able to get that off too. Um, you just It's really how you word it and how you respond. You got to let it be known that you're not trying to steal that shit. It, like clearly... Like, yo, this is not copyright infringement. I am not trying to. That's not my intention. Yada, yada, yada. I got you. I'm going to send you the same shit uh, one of my homies sent me. All that right, shit works like 99% of the time. The Damn. most that they'll hit you with is sometimes them niggas don't even be looking at that. They just want to see you fight it. And then they, you wait like 31 days and then it's good. That's why Dax, I don't even be reacting to Dax no more. I'll be having to wait 31 days every time. Damn. Every time. He'll claim it. I, I I'll always fight it. Up. See, right? But I fight it, and then 31 days later, they let it go, yeah. and then I let it out. Yeah. But you got to fight that shit. Fight it. It's really don't be, even be the artists. It's the publishing companies that do that shit. This nigga never heard Miss Jackson. Oh, I'm my done. God. I'm done. They lying, bro. These niggas is lying. <laughs> yeah, that's what's yeah, saying. Why did it and that's why their viewership is not what it used to be, is because people got tired of it. Like, how many times can you lie? What else are they gonna say? I think they had Michael Jackson on there. The fuck out of here, bro. Bro, that's sad. That's what I'm saying, bro. You can't you can't lie like that just for the trends, and then boom, your channel skyrocket, and it's like right. only one twin, huh? I missed the other guy. I'm out of here. Yeah, no, nah, I think he came back like a couple of videos. What was it? Seven days ago and then disappeared again. He's like, well, I ain't doing this. Because what if they never learned how to like claim a video? That's what I'm saying. They probably just getting lucky with some of that stuff. Yeah, when I just arranged it by oldest first, these niggas was doing do rag videos, <laughs> boxing videos. That's how it be. Certain content don't go off. So then you just be like, I'm going to try something different. And then one of them tried the videos, uh, tried doing reactions, was crying and shit. These, it looked, these, the views for these reactions did horrible. He was not crying. Which shows you, not nah, look. Yeah, bro. Machine Gun Kelly, a lady crying. Intense. Maybe, maybe he could be. Maybe he clicked me. I've never heard this okay. song. That was four years ago. Damn. He probably said, yo, bro, hop in this reaction video. Right. That's what I'm looking for. When's the first time his brother came in? Because I bet you the number shot up. Because, yeah, you see a few that's like a thousand, a few that's a hundred. But what that tells me is that these shits was like 
10 views, five views when he first posted it. And then after he got millions of subscribers, they the went people back went to back watch to the it. Yeah, exactly. So this shit, like he actually tried. Low. He actually tried yeah. on the thumbnails at least. But he got other people in his shit. I want to see when did he first put his brother in it. Damn, look, he bro. did Adam Calhoun. Look, he, he was reacting to Adam Calhoun. <laughs> look, he tried. He got up church. That's crazy. Yo, he was in it for real. Uh, here you go. Eminem reaction. Okay, this is him and his brother. And then, and then now they start doing it. Yeah, look, the Justin Timberlake say something. Yo, they out of pocket. And then they just started <laughs> Up. Yeah, then you see that number starting to go crazy. 63,000, 39,000. Look, bro, they actually care. You can see the difference in their thumbnail. Yeah, back then, yes, they was actually putting more effort. He was actually putting letters on the screen, emojis. Yeah, a little bit more effort. Way more effort, actually. Wow. So they just hit those millions and stopped giving a fuck. That's what it was. <laughs> oh, damn. They said, fuck it. Bro, they said, fuck a thumbnail. That shit was four years ago. That's crazy. You see the difference, right? That shit just my yeah, it's it's like, huge boom. Difference. You see that shit huge like difference. Word. He put effort. He changed the lighting, added fucking the lettering, emojis. They were making some kind of effort. And then somehow yeah. they just they fell off. Yeah, they just fell off. Around what year did they blow up? Let's see. Three year mark. So their run hit the like it's peaking three years ago. And then it died down in, around the two year to one year mark. See, I, that's why I keep telling people, man. Damn, reactions are even harder. Because if, yeah, if you coming on here just doing whatever, riding a wave and being fake, that shit is temporary. 